There are about 15 species of Costa Rican bats that are gleaning insectivorous. These bats hunt insects of almost all the insect orders that are sitting on leaves doing their business in the forest understory. Then out of the darkness, a gleaner bat swoops in and snatches the unsuspecting insect. Katydids are prime targets, and you might wonder how a bat finds such a well-camouflaged animal. Well, normally well-camouflaged. Bats home into their whereabouts by the male's call. He hopes that a female finds him before a bat does. Bright colors of some animals warn potential predators of their bad taste. This works well in the daylight, but what about the night? Tiger moths are bad tasting and have evolved a nighttime defense, a special sound producing organ that makes warning clicks when a bat flies close. The bats learn to avoid the clicking moths that taste bad. This moth doesn't click nor taste bad. The common large-eared bat also eats a variety of beetles, cockroaches and owl flies, and in one study, flies comprise 50% of their diet. It's a main predator of this Manateria manicula, a butterfly that flies at dusk and roosts along steep banks. Large-eared bats have feeding roosts. That is, they leave their sleeping roost and take their prey items to be eaten in a protected place, like in a hollow fig tree. This bat lives from northern Mexico to southern Brazil, and it's the most common gleaner bat in Costa Rica. Their distinctive ears and a notched membrane between the ears on top of the head are easy ways to ID it. This feeding roost is on a trail bank and became active after 8 p.m. Here, a juicy Opsiphanes caterpillar is the antipasta. Next on the menu is a cricket. Their sleeping roosts are found in caves, hollow trees, tunnels, and even in buildings. And while they're sleeping, this is what they dream about. 